Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Saturday, August 4th, 10.59 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Respect existence or expect resistance. It's true. Resistance is fertile. Hurricane Hector. Prepare your hurricane kit, says Hawaii Mayor, in warning ahead of impact. Hurricane Hector is rapidly approaching Hawaii's Big Island, according to all the fear mongers on the planet, as it hurtles across the Pacific Ocean, hundreds of miles south. Only one of the models shows it coming anywhere near, near the southern coast. <laughs> and that's a fear monger boom. Let's check the models here. What we may be looking at is hurricane tropical storm winds at the minimum on a small portion of the southern island currently. Now, things could change, but based on the probabilities, it's not looking that dangerous. Now, snowmen, their time has come, and it's true. Take a look at the July relative sea surface temperatures. All-time lows just coming in moments ago in recorded history. And now this bodes well for those in Florida and other areas that are worried about the tropical storms and climate change and huge hurricanes. These are the facts. There probably won't be any big hurricanes. In fact, as I predicted two months ago, the only place where warming is is in the northern portion of the Atlantic Basin up towards New England. So if a tropical storm gets through there, heads up Nova Scotia. But in general, the southern regions, this is not a very good signal for tropical storm or hurricane development for the Atlantic, especially the southern Atlantic. Because right now, the tropical Atlantic sea surface temperature and the relative sea surface temperature is the coldest ever recorded. Al! Wheat prices rose to a three-year high this week, as predicted. As we descend into the grand solar minimum, we're going to see wheat spikes. The spike is predicted for fall of 2019. So, if you're in commodities, go long on oats. Trust me. Put it all in there. Wheat prices rose to a three-year high this week as traders grew increasingly concerned about the drought conditions in the U.S. Great Plains and Northern Europe, two of the biggest wheat-producing regions on the planet. Revised estimates are projecting this year's global wheat harvest to be 4% down last year's, which helped push prices sharply higher. And that's a spike, but not the big one. The big one is way up here off... I can't even get off of the page. Next fall, prepare wisely. Now is the time to start stockpiling rice and other dry goods because before the spike in wheat next fall, global uh, prices are going to rise on all commodities and dry goods. Trust me, it's called inflation and it's coming to a supermarket near you. Mendocino Complex fire explodes to 229,000 acres making it one of the largest on record. And that's a lot of FDC red number 40 for sake. Why does it have to be red? A massive pair of fires burning on either side of Cedar Lake, about 100 miles north of San Francisco, exploded to 230,000 acres Saturday night, making the conflagration amongst the largest record in California and the most pressing of the 17 largest wildfires across the state. Now, Mendocino Complex Fire, now the sixth largest in recorded state history, has forced thousands of people to evacuate this forested region. It has burned dozens of homes due to directed energy laser beams and other weapons. Now, last year's Thomas Fire, which was also directed energy weapon laser beam directed, burned 281,000 acres of directed energy beam in the Santa Barbara um, Harp region of Ventura counties. Thank you, Tyler. Excessive heat building in the southwest, severe storms and heavy rain, north central U.S. High pressure building in western U.S. will bring expanding areas of excessive heat because it's summer to the southwest, warming temperatures across the west where they'll be warm here in the west. Dry thunderstorms move into the Great Basin, but ongoing fires and hot temperatures in the West may result in critical fire weather threats in the West.
Did you know that the directed energy weapon that started the car fire was a flat tire? I'll leave you links. It's, it's CNN. They're de deflecting. They made the energy beam. The, uh, CNN makes directed energy weapons. I've been to the factory. Calgarians share photos of golf ball size. Inhale. Holy. <laughs> Large hail hit the city on a day during which Calgary was frequently under a severe thunderstorm watch. According to Environment Canada, conditions were favorable for the development of dangerous thunderstorms that are capable of producing huge hail. Invisible photog has the evidence. Holy. Well, that doesn't look like fun. I live in a trailer. Deadly tornado rips through Manitoba. Reports of tennis ball size hail. At least one person has died after a tornado touched down west of Lake Manitoba on Friday night, officials said Saturday. That's today. There's a lot of damage being reported, and that's only the tip of the iceberg, said Environment Canada. Some people reported seeing tennis ball size hail up to six centimeters in diameter, while others said strong winds wreaked havoc. Annie Richard, 47, captured video of the tornado from her home two kilometers away. It's now unavailable. That's how insane it is. And you can read more if you click there. We know of three homes that were destroyed. And we're just trying to get this video back from places unknown. That's a boom of epic... Canadian tornadic proportions to all you Canadians, hosers. Heads up. Wow. It's glorious. Yep, it's a twister. After seeing a funnel cloud forming in the southwest, Valerie and her family jumped in their car to flee. What would you do? If you're a storm chaser, you drive to it. Snow during a heat wave? Question mark. Mysterious weather strikes Italy. We covered this yesterday in Sardinia. 30 centimeters of snow blanket turned 35C death heat into 12C despite a record-breaking heat wave, according to many. Total fear-mongering much? I agree. This is what the heat wave looked like yesterday in Sardinia. It's 30 centimeters of incredible, amazing white global warming amazingness covered the Popoca de Peto. Boom. Whew. What the f is happening? What is happening? Oh, 97% climate consensus. Pollution is slowing the melting of Arctic sea ice. Pollution is slowing the ice melting. Oh, awesome! Human carbon pollution is melting the Arctic, but aerosol pollution is slowing it down, according to idiots that have no explanation for their idiocy. The Arctic is the canary in the coal mine, man. It's the, man, it's the aerosols, man. Totally, man. Do you know how this red here in the Arctic Circle in August means four meters of ice? We haven't seen this in decades. It's because of you guys. It's your pollution. Now we're global warming, but we're at record ice because of global warming. It's your fault, you scumbags. Seismic update, no quakes of note. What we're waiting for is a major earthquake to happen at any moment. We're at a historic earthquake drought of large magnitude. 6.5 to 8.0, just a complete drought. And that's been bad news. Because over at Quake quakewatch.net, they have uh, mounting information. Now we're talking about these peaks. <clears throat> You're looking at the solar polar fields, and I'm going to talk to you about M8 plus earthquakes. This is 2010. 
These are the solar polar fields peaking. And right here at the double peak in 2010, there was an 8.8 .8 in Chile. And then in 2011, we had a 9.0 in Japan. And then in 2012, here with this big long peak, we had two 8.2s in Sumatra. Right here. Boom, boom. 2013. Right here. 8.0 Solomon Islands. And then we entered the next solar cycle. And look at the phase how the phases were off. But back here, remember? The 8.2 in Mexico last year, it happened right here. And look at where we're at today, right here. We're just moments away from the next major seismic event. 60 days, maybe 90, max. Maybe 120. But when this peaks... When the solar polar fields peak, look out. My prediction is an 8.7. And if you want to know more, come over here to Suspicious Observers and watch today's update. I'll leave you links. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Kareminsk, Reventador. And let's check out. Let's do it. But a little boom, boom. So we have amazing activity up here in the Aleutians and the Kamchatka seismic uptick is 5.0 in Russia. This is the most recent. We have a double four point event at the Sitkin volcano. And so we need to be looking at what's happening in the Aleutians and Kadaminsk. This could be where the VE I six or seven emanates from. We have a 4.5 in Indonesia at 53 kilometers and mid-ocean ridge activity at the central East Pacific rise at 4.4. Heads up. It's getting interesting, kids. Carlin, Nevada, 2.7. San Diego researchers measure the highest ocean surface temperatures in a century. And that's good news for global warming alarmists, man. They have to just suck up on too because they don't know anything about the science. I'm going to leave you some science. The Ice Age in the North American Arctic by Richard Foster Flint. This is the original piece. If you need some leisurely reading, start with this. And it talks all about Arctic North America and the glacial period. Why was interior Alaska green during the last ice age? Because the Pacific is warm and getting warmer. That's why. I'm going to show you tons of evidence. Late quaternary vegetation and climate near the Arctic tree line of northwestern North America clearly shows it much warmer when it was much colder everywhere else because the Pacific Ocean was warming like it's doing right now. Warming north of the equator like it's doing right now. The equator is stable. North of the equator is warming. Holocene thermal maximum in the western Arctic shows a warming from California north during the glacial period. <laughs> Crystallography, paleogeography, and climate change during the early Holocene warm interval in the western Arctic coast of Canada proves it. Go outside, get off the couch, take your ass off the couch and prepare because Earth is about to plow into a fiery meteor shower. Now we're talking debris fields and that's a boom. You got to look towards Ursa Major. That's north.
Three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the mother in truth. Amen, Buddha. And that's a boom. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. The nonsense is thick. <clears throat> the truth is here. Share this video with like-minded people. Respect existence or expect resistance. We're here to serve you. Tell us what you need and we'll help you. Find community. Plant a seed. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that's a boom.